Marcel, what are you doing? I'm killing the wasp. Why? You will see this steak on every menu in every restaurant in Europe. And here's why. You can call it buffet, you can call it flank steak, but the most important part about this steak is that it's super popular in restaurants. And there's a good reason for it. This steak is very cheap to buy and you can make a great cut out of it, which means from one steak, you can put three steaks on a plate in a restaurant. And this is an absolute beauty. It comes from Canada and it's been raised without hormones or antibiotics. We're going to trim it up and make it look real pretty. We gotta get rid of all of that silver skin, even the ones that are underneath the fat. Chefs around this world absolutely love this cut and here's why. It has a lot of flavor and in a restaurant, if you're eating beef, you want that experience. You want to be able to taste your steak. And the other reason is that if you cut it properly, it is really nice and tender and that will give you a great mouth feel experience. Now this piece we have right here is exceptional. Normally you have a leaner cut, but this has a lot of intramuscular fat, which means a lot of flavor. Oh yeah, and the one thing that I already mentioned, it's cheap. Now let's grill this beautiful piece of meat. While we let our steak rest, we're gonna sprinkle on a little bit of salt. There we go. And since we're resting our steak, we got all this free time on our hands. So why not plate it up nicely like in a restaurant? You could have a broccoli puree made out of broccoli, a little bit of raw garlic, some dry beef stock, olive oil, cooking liquid, and you just grind it fine and it's done. And while you're at it, you're of course gonna to have to have some mushrooms which you're gonna be baking in a little bit of olive oil, some garlic, thyme, oregano, just to get the flavors in, you know, and finish it off with a little bit of salt. Oh wow, that smells good. The most important part about cutting that steak is to cut it into a section and then cut it against the grain. Then it's finished to be plated up and look at the beautiful plate that we created. How beautiful is that? And that's why chefs love this cut of steak. You can take something fairly cheap and turn it into a thousand dollar plate. Well, they're probably going to charge you around maybe 34 to 38 euros for that plate, but it's well worth it if they prepare it right and if they can make it taste amazing like this one. Talking about tasting, let's do a quick taste test. I just got to make a quick message to my girlfriend. Honey, I'm not coming home for dinner. I'm eating steak again. The deal is done. Mm. 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 Oh yeah. It really is like a restaurant dish. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I was really hungry. Mm. This makes me want to eat, eat, eat. That broccoli fla flavor, it adds something to the dish. You see me chewing, right? This is what you get from a flank steak. It's a bit chewy. Of course you got this. A little bit of chew, but with the chew comes the flavor. So that's why you buy this guy. This is something you would pay a lot of money for in a restaurant. Don't ever, ever, to all the chefs that work in all the restaurants, ever, ever put it in a sous vide. Mm. I hate when they do that. I hate when they grill the steak first, put it in sous vide, and then serve it up like they just cooked it. Oh man. It's the worst thing. You get these like wet black crusts, like they grilled it and then... Ugh. But that steak. That's a big no-no. If you do that to, my, to me, you get one star review. Good crust, good amount of flavor, a little bit of chew, but you know, the whole plate, that's what this is about. It's tender, 
I like a steak like that. I like the texture. And that lettuce, it's cheap to make. It costs near to nothing, but it looks good. A little bit of mushrooms with it. A little bit of tahini on. I put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of sherry vinegar on the lettuce. And it looks fantastic and it tastes amazing. Would I pay 38 euros? That's, that's a hard decision because I'm spoiled now. I need a lot of meat. But I'm not telling you that this steak is still in the kitchen laying around. I wouldn't be angry because I want this piece. Love it. Mm. It all goes so well together. Marcel, what are you doing? I'm killing the wasp. Why? Does Ruhl need to cook this more? I think so. And that's all I have to say about this steak. Hope to see you guys next time. Big thank you to our patrons and YouTube members. It's magelijk. And keep on grilling. That's right. Cheers. <laughs> we finished the whole plate. It's all gone. You ate it all, Morrison. I didn't eat it all. Oh, come on. You were eating like, like there's no tomorrow. Can I cut it like this? Like you didn't get fed in like a week. Let's just eat. I'm oh, sorry. Let's just eat. I'm oh, sorry for being overly aggressive. It, it looks it looks so. I was a little bit hangry. Can I cut it like this? This way? If you want to. Mm. It's too funny how easy it is to make a broccoli puree. Mm. Too easy. I think broccoli is my favorite vegetable. Yeah. And you can, yeah, I think it's my children's favorite bread too. Personally, I love um, mashed, mashed potatoes with uh, kale. You can't just sit here while they build the barn for you because you love hey, the barn. Hey, you. Dude, you're the one, if we stand in the sun, you're always complaining about the sun yeah, coming and going. So, so you, you should be kissing them, thanking them that they're building your barn.